had quite a few questions lately on how I do my small groups. And the one thing that I want to tell you is don't stress about them too much. I used to stress about how often I got each child and how much I got done during them. But then it's like, once you realize like, no, I have three, four, five year olds, I'm needed all the time. So if I don't get to small groups as often as I want to, that's okay. So I will get to every student once or twice throughout the week. And I have 22 students for half days a week. So basically one to two days of the week, they're going to be called over to my table for really only five to 10 minutes at a time to do a small group lesson. What do I do during my small groups? So first of all, I have my preschool assessments that I do. And based off of those assessments, I have two goals for every student. So if I have students who have not mastered their colors, that's going to be their first goal. My groups are different all the time. I would call over all of the students that still need to master colors and we would play a color game together. Um, I also will call students one-on-one. -on -one. I'll do one-on-one -on -one name writing practice with them there. Um, and then a third thing that I'll do for small groups is I have my standards sectioned off by month. So what whatever standards we're working on that month, I'll pick the most important ones, not all of them. Um, so for example, in January, we have a lot of numbers. So I will pull small groups for one-to-one -one counting and number recognition. Um, in April, we're doing a lot of rhyming. So I would do rhyming small groups. So those are kind of the three things that I base my small groups on. I'm doing it based on a standard. I'm doing it based on the assessment and I'm doing one-on-one -on -one work with, you know, that's whatever that particular child needs. A lot of times it's name writing.